good afternoon, friends. So, I figure if I have to create anyways, I may as well just go live for you guys. And you guys can create with me. Um, so, today we're going to do an art journal page. And we're going to use this cute little Clarence stamp. As you can see, I've colored him like a million times already because I absolutely love him. So I have all these little clearances. I'm not 100% sure what we're gonna do, but we're gonna figure something out, okay? So we have all these little clearances. Now this is just a piece of mixed media paper. Um, I bought it at, gosh, I don't know, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, one of the two, whatever. Just random mixed media paper. And I have covered it in the Liquitex Gesso. Um, so this stuff I love. I got this one at Hobby Lobby, $7.99. Um, but if you guys haven't seen, I posted what's called The List. Um, and I got this idea from Lydia Fiedler. And it's just a list of all the things that I use in my live videos. And so as I do different live videos and I'm using stuff, I will post links to where you can get this stuff. Um, a lot of it is like Amazon links because I don't have like an affiliate link for Liquitex. Um, but where I can use affiliate links like the rabbit hole designs, I will use my affiliate link. So I would be amazing if you guys would shop using my affiliate links. Hi, Jen. Um, so I totally stole the idea from Lydia Fiedler. She does that, um, uses the list in her in her group, and I thought, what a fantastic idea. So um, yeah, so I stole it from her, and um, I'm using it. So I put Liquitex um, gesso on this paper. Really, any gesso will work. Um, it doesn't have to be Liquitex, but I just find that I really enjoy the Liquitex more. Um, and I put it on kind of messy. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a little bit of texture. Um, I just used a junk paintbrush and by junk, I mean this, like this is a total junky, crappy, um, it's covered in gesso paintbrush, like to the point where I can't get it out anymore. Um, but that's my, my junky paintbrush. And we're just going to start with nothing and we're going to create something. Um, my, one of my art journals that I love creating in is this one. And you can see like how thick it is. And so I've just used rings from the, um, happy planner stuff. Um, so these are just happy planner rings. So I just punch the edges of these with happy planner rings and, um, just create random things for my art journal. And this is just stuff that I like, stuff that I've made. There's my little froggy that you guys saw not very long ago. And then I went ahead and pre-gessoed like a whole bunch of extra pages. So when I feel like creating, they're ready for me. So I just took an extra day and just gessoed a whole bunch of pages. So um, if you have any friends to tag or anything, anybody you know that's going to be hanging out, feel free to tag them. Um, that would be fantabulous. So I'm going to set a bunch of these clearances aside. Um, Clarence is this little stamp set from the Rabbit Hole Designs. And um, he's got his little acorn here full of coffee. And that just pretty much speaks to me. So um, yeah, this is a cute little stamp. And again, he's on the list, so you know where to get him. And so I'm just going to set that aside and we're going to start creating. So um, I have a bunch of random stuff on my desk that I'm just going to like go to town with. So first things first is I have these two really cool stencils from the rabbit hole designs. Um, well, thanks Jen for popping in to say hi. I appreciate it. Um, this one is um, circles. I can't remember what it's called. Um, if Marianne was here, she would say us, tell us what it's called. Um, it's overlapping circles, I think is what it is. So I have that one, RG, no. And then this one is called Splish Splash, and I'm gonna use both of them. Um, and then I'm gonna start with, where is the ink that I want? Here it is. So I have these little bitty archival inks, 
and this one is ground espresso. Um, these are waterproof and that's what's important here is I need waterproof inks for what I'm doing because I'm probably going to put some collage paper on this and um, use some matte medium. And so anything that is not waterproof, um, 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 you know, it'll smear all of your ink. So yeah. Okay, Marianne, I just got your, your text message. I can't see your comments if you are watching. So, my bad. My bad. Um, so, I'm going to go with the lighter one first. And I'm going to use... These are my Cottontail blending brushes. Um, the rabbit hole doesn't have these anymore. But they're my favorite blending brushes in the whole world ever. Um, so I know, Leah, are you so proud of me? <laughs> Notice I have the tiny ones, though. <laughs> and so I'm not going to ink, like, this whole stamp or this whole stencil. I'm just going to do, like, pieces of it. That's why I'm not worried about, um, like, taping it down or anything like that. Because I'm not concerned about, like, the whole thing. Oh my gosh, isn't that cool? Such an awesome stencil. Rabbit Hole has the best stencils. I mean, you know, aside from Sweet Sentiment and all. And so I'm, I'm pretty new to art journaling. Well, I'm really new to art journaling. Let me just tell you that. I'm really new to art journaling. But... I really like it. It's fun because I don't have to be like absolutely precise on everything. And um, that's new for me. And I'm just going to set this one sideways. I know my brushes are all stained. It's okay. I have this specific brush for brown archival inks. Um, anyways, you guys know that I'm like a clean crafter and I don't like things that are super messy and um, those things hurt me. They hurt my brain. Ooh, look at that. So pretty. Um, so I find that art journaling is kind of a middle ground for me. I don't have to be super duper clean. Um, but I don't have to be like really, um, there goes Archie running. I don't have to be like super messy either. Um, we're working on that, right? We are. We're working on me being a clean crafter because sometimes it, it doesn't work. I'm not, it scares me. Non-clean crafting scares me pretty bad. Okay. So there is that. So now um, I'm gonna use something that um, I don't have on the list yet. Um, I got this at Craft Warehouse and it was on clearance, but it's a Hero Arts stamp and it's just this big, huge rubber stamp. And hi, Carrie. And so this rubber stamp, I'm not even going to worry about putting it on a block or um, anything like that. I know, gasp. Um, but I want this texture from the stamp. And so I'm just gonna like, you know, put it in different places. So again, with my archival ink and I'm gonna use the ground espresso one and I'm just gonna ink up pieces of it. And I don't want it to be like perfect because I'm using it for texture and not as like an image. So I'm just putting it on there. Fun. And this will stain your stamp too, unless you wash it off right away. I forgot what section I had. Okay. So there we go. 
Messy, messy, messy. I can't get my lid back on my stamp or on my ink pad. Okay, so there's that. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take this acrylic um, texture paste and I'm just going to squeeze some of it out. I usually do this on my media mat, but whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. And I didn't get the color of paint that I want, so hold on a second. These are all my Liquitex paints, and I love them. I got a big old set, and I think they're super duper cool. And this is a bronze color, and this is exactly what I want. So I'm going to mix some of this paint with some of that texture medium and I have my little spatula here so I'm just going to mix them together. Do you hear Archie growling? Look at that, like a perfect hot chocolate color. And then I'm gonna take my Tim Holtz stamp, whatever I did with it, and I'm going to smush some texture on there. And I did put this on the um, the list too, this stencil. I love the stencil, I use it all the time. But see how it creates that, that 3D kind of element to it? And I'm gonna put this big splash of coffee like up here. That sound, Blech. <laughs> the gritty sand sound just ugh. this is why I'm not a good messy crafter but if I can do it you can do it I'm sipping on hot um chili chocolate chili chai tea from Dave's tea well that's interesting you're drinking a mocha we'll see look y'all are my people okay and I'm gonna put this splatter up here and try not to get it all over myself. Oops, sorry, hit the camera. Archie, how about you hush? No. And I'm always like, I mixed all of this, so I'm gonna use all of this. That's just how I roll. All right, so there's that. And um, I'm gonna go set this in the sink really fast. So I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. better now. That is one thing. I do have to clean my craft supplies <laughs> because I am that way. Um, I have extra ink on this brush. So, okay. This is where Lydia is going to
It sounds really gritty, <laughs> like fingernails on a chalkboard. See, you get me. Okay, so I use the extra ink on the corner of that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is is I don't know. Let's see where where can we go with this? I wanted to take a couple of picture, a couple of pieces off of the collage paper and put on here just because I think that this collage paper is super cool. So this one is typography. I don't know if you can see that. And it has like just so much cool stuff on it. So um, I have two of them that are like this. So I have this one and then I have, you're still in your PJs. Hi, Tyler. Okay, so I have that one and then I have this one too. And this is called Document. And I think I pulled both of these out because I can't remember which one it is. Yeah, this is the one that I wanted to use because it has like cafe slips on it. And I thought that would be cool, like the little squirrels in a cafe kind of thing, like, you know, ordering coffee. So I'm just going to rip some of this off, the pieces that I want. And this stuff's still pretty wet. So give me just a second and um, I'm going to pull out my heat gun and I'm going to dry it just a little bit. just to give it a head start. Just keep your heat gun moving so that you don't like bubble it. give it a little head start. Okay. Now I have this really cool silicone brush or silicone or whatever you call it. And my words are upside down there. So I'm going to put it this way. And I'm just going to put a couple of pieces of this in a couple of places. Oh, hi, Nona. So this is matte medium. And it's kind of like glue, essentially. Um, correct me if I'm long, if I'm wrong. Leah's here, and um, a couple of other people who are much much better at the whole mixed media thing than me. But you put it down underneath whatever you're sticking down, and then you put it down on top. Now, I'm not caring if this is like wrinkly and stuff because if it is wrinkly then you just get extra texture and um the name of the game with this kind of stuff is all texture so i'm all about it okay so now i'm gonna find another piece that i like Not on that one. Use this one. I know you guys love mixed media. Are you happy to see me doing some mixed media stuff? I'm sure it's shocking to you. And I like to like obscure the words and stuff so you can't really tell what it is that's being like said. Or written here which a lot of it you can't tell anyways that's kind of how he made it but 
you know. Oh my God, I'm dropping stuff everywhere. My brush just broke. Heck a rude. That's right. I'll use it this way. The handle just totally came off. Do you see that? Rude. And all this stuff that's like overhanging off the edges and stuff, I'll trim off as soon as it dries. But for now, I'm just not even worried about it. Jen was over here one day watching me do stuff and she was like amazed at how I could use this matte medium without like dumping it everywhere. Cause I just put like a couple of drips on. She was like, I don't even know how you do that. Okay, so a couple of pieces. I promise it'll all like come together, so don't worry. It looks like a hot mess right now, but it does all come together. yes <laughs> what's everybody doing out there you guys are all so quiet I'm not even coloring and you guys are still quiet need a little bit more oops okay So, there's that. I'm like a hot mess today. I keep knocking everything over. Like literally everything I'm knocking over. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a little shot with my heat gun too. All right. And then I have my really cool pair of junk scissors. When Archie was a puppy, he chewed on the handles of these when they were new. So they quickly became junk scissors because who wants scissors with puppy chews on them? And I'm just gonna trim off the edges of this. Cause that stuff drives me crazy. So here we are so far. This is what we got going on. Let me clean up my scraps. Put my jump scissors away. Okay, so now I have this really cool stuff from Lindy's. This is Starburst sprays. This stuff's pretty messy, um, but it's like glittery spray. And so I love it. 
and you have to shake it up really well because like I've let mine settle for years and years. I've probably had these sprays for like, I don't know, eight or so years. And these, like I said, are kind of messy. So that piece of paper that I, you know, got rid of, I'm gonna use it to cover my desk. My neighbor, the UPS guy, is home, so of course my dog has to bark at him. Archie, stop, please. Okay. Look at how cool. It looks like it's got coffee spilled all over it. Archie, no. And then I'm going to, like, go like this to kind of make some movement in it. See the big drips coming down? I think it looks cool with the little bit of movement in it. Now, again, you can hit this with your heat gun and dry it, but my next step is gonna be kind of water-ish too. So I have these cool little bowls that my cousin made me, and I have my Liquitex acrylic. This is unbleached titanium, and you only need like a teeny tiny bit, like a really little teeny tiny bit. Oh my gosh, you guys are being super quiet. So that's how much I put in here. And then I take my water and I spray it. And then I grab a random brush that is like a super crappy brush. So I just have this random brush. Ooh, and I turned it pink. Oh, this is the brush I was using with that ink, that's why. Yeah, that ink totally stained this brush. And I've washed this brush like four times and it's still that color. So we're gonna toss that brush because I don't think I want this to be pink. We're gonna start this process again. Okay. That brush is broken. Paint. Dirty brush. Well, I washed it a whole bunch of times. Um, like seriously, like three times. But I used it with like ink ink instead of just um, like paint. And so it definitely has seen better days. Okay, need just a skosh more water. And most of the stuff that I've learned, you guys, I'm telling you right now, I've learned from Leah over the years. She thinks I don't listen, but every once in a while I do. So I'm going to put my other paper back up here. And then, hey, I'll use my broken. And this is my way of like unmessy splattering. I mean, you're still splattering, so it's still kind of messy, but Splattered myself in the face. I love it. And then this is acrylic, so you don't super have to worry. Like, I don't have to run this to the sink right this moment. Okay. So my point is, is that I'm making this like grungy, splattery coffee. All I can think of now is a scene from The Parent Trap when the lady is hitting the sticks toward the mountain lines. Maybe. Okay, one more time with my heat gun. So hold on. And you can tilt your paper and kind of coax those drips down when you have your heat gun going.
I love the way this Lindy's spray dries. It's so cool. It kind of separates. So you have this cool like bronzy brown color and it's kind of metallic. And it just adds this whole other element. Okay, so here's my base all done. Every once in a while, I feel like I could just turn my heat gun on myself and just like sit with my heat gun spraying at me because I'm cold all the time. Well, not all the time. Not as cold as Sandy is all the time, but just saying. Okay, so here's this. So now I have to choose which clearance I want. Do I want to go crazy and put like a blue clearance on there? Do I want to stay monochrome and put the brown one on there? Um, I go super crazy and go orange, Tyler. I have the rainbow clearance. I have the gray one, which I kind of like. I have the pink one. So what do you guys think? Let me move this up so then you can see them all. What do you guys think? Tyler says orange, which is a given. I knew he would say orange just from the get-go. kind of like the contrast of the orange with the brown too. I think it's sort of fun. The gray one does look cool, but is it too like, does he blend in too much? Carrie says gray too. The red kind of picks up that copper color. Okay. I guess we're going with gray. I got two votes gray and one vote orange because Tyler voted twice. So gray clearance it is. So I'm gonna make him be a focal point, but it's not gonna be just Clarence. Um, those of you who know me, know me well enough to know that I'm gonna put a whole bunch of flowers on here too because that's how I roll. So I'm gonna start grabbing out some flowers from my flower stash here. And I really don't have very many red flowers, which is pretty odd, I know. Um, you voted because, just because orange was on the list, you automatically went for orange. It's okay, I understand. Nope, I don't like that. Well, guys, we might be painting some flowers. Because that just might be what has to happen. Because I can't find my white roses either. If you saw the amount of flowers that I have, you might be astonished. And the majority of them are orange, Tyler. <laughs> so go figure on that one. cool and so I just kind of pick out everything that I think I might use and I start like getting an idea in my head of what so there's like a little white off-white flower in here so I'm gonna use that and some leaves okay 
So now I have that. And I think Clarence is gonna go like right here. He's gonna be like just off of the middle. And I have this cool felt flower that Becky Roberts made. So I'm gonna see if I can use that. I know, right? I do have a, quite a quite a bit of flowers. And the funny part is, is I'm pretty low on flowers for my normal standards. And then I use these. So these are from Heartfelt Creations. And these are called Rock Candy Stamens. So I'm going to pull out some of those. And some clear ones. And then... Hmm. I might just use those. That's a little bit smaller. Okay. All right. Then what I love to have on hand is these little jewelry pliers because they have a round nose and then they also have a cutter right here. I don't know what they're called. I'm sure there's a specific name for them, but I don't know what it is, so... Um, and then a lot of people like really get fussy about laying out their flowers and stuff. I don't, I kind of just like go for it with reckless abandon and hope that I like it and figure that if I don't like it, then I can always just rip it off and go again. So, so we're just going to start going for it. I guess I should move this up into the screen a little bit, huh? Better? And I don't adhere my, um, my main image. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a pencil container. It's a double-sided one, so it has, um, it has little sections. And then on this side, it's just a big open section. Um, I got this at Hobby Lobby too, I think. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to put these little red ones. I'm not even going to cut this off of the back of it because I feel like it's just free texture. So I just go for it. And I don't want to go wild on the red. That's why I only set out a couple of red flowers. I just want a little hint of red since he has a red scarf and the brim of his cup is red. Yeah, it wasn't very expensive, Tyler. I want to say it was like five or seven bucks or something like that. It was not, it was not a break the bank kind of scenario. And then I always twist the ends of these. And then I fold them. Nice at those, they're there. Don't mind me losing my brain. I have white splatters all over my fingers, and it's driving me nuts already. I'm gonna have to go wash my hands right when I'm done with this. <laughs> I'm such a terrible, like, messy crafter. I know so many people that are like. I don't mind, get inky, get, you know, ink all over your hands and, you know, do that crazy thing. And I'm like, mm, 
just not for me. Because you can see how I was trying to not create a pattern and I've already created a pattern. I like to break these apart because sometimes they're all glued together so that it creates more texture. See? Oh my gosh, is anybody watching Only Murders in the Building? I just started watching it. I'm on like episode three or four. It's got Steve Martin and Martin Short in it. It's very interesting. It's very, very interesting. Okay, so I twist that. You have a hand cramp from coloring. I get those sometimes, but only when I pencil color. Because I think I just grip the pencils too tight. But you pretty much only pencil color, right, babe? So there's that. It's got too much purple on it. I kind of like that one. It seems random and off, but I still like it. And you know what? It's my art journal, so I'm gonna use it. Okay, and then I'm gonna glue this one. Right there. Okay, so now the little stamens. I'm gonna use these. And I just make like a little bundle of them. You guys hear RG? And I fold them in half. This is just because you guys know like any of you people who like to make flowers know that we all end up collecting a ton of these little stamens. And then, you know, what do you do with them? Because you have to have every pack and every color. And then, you know, you can't make 700 billion flowers. I mean, you can, but... And it just adds a little bit of texture here. I really like using them like that. You went through a, a face. <laughs> well, I guess you're gonna have to be a flower person again. I know I'm probably off the screen, but there. Just trying to see where to put my glue. I just feel like it adds so much to have just like that little bit of shimmery, glimmery, doing 700 flowers to an art journal play page. But I, um, yeah, 
like it's not my first thing to go to to color. Like if I want to color something, usually flowers is not my go-to. And I know some people will gasp, but it's just not my first choice. I like to color people more than anything. So, yeah. I had fun coloring this little Clarence guy though because he's stinking cute. I don't feel like the tropical leaves are a thing. I think I'm just gonna add a couple of these. We're gonna call it a day. You never know, Carrie. The 80s was a phase and it came back. <laughs> Just saying, never say never. And I seriously just like randomly shove these in places. So don't think there's like some crazy rhyme or reason to it. I just really put them in there where I feel it needs some greenery. And obviously you can tell I'm making like a corner motif. And then we will adhere little Mr. Clarence. Um, if you guys don't know, Clarence is Lydia Fiedler's wild squirrel. Um, she has a little squirrel that she feeds and now he like climbs up in her lap. Well, he's a she actually, but that's not important to the story. She named it Clarence before she knew he was a she. And so it climbs up in her lap and eats peanuts from her hand and all that kind of stuff. And so Clarence has become somewhat famous in some of the crafting circles. <laughs> so that's why we have a Clarence stamp set. Okay. So now I'm going to take Clarence and I'm going to adhere him probably like here. So he's kind of interacting with the flowers. I gotta take that piece of paper away because it's distracting me. So, um, so the problem is when you have all of this stuff, um, things, it's hard to adhere things to it with all the texture and all of that stuff. So I like to use Sweet Pops for this um, because it just adheres a lot better to all of the textures. So we're gonna throw some Sweet Pops on the back of this. I have my handy dandy honey bowl just out of screenshot here. And it's full of sweet pops and wobbles and sequins and all kinds of good stuff. And then I'm gonna cut one down. Part of what I love about Sweet Pops is you can cut them to whatever size you need. So these are for his feet. Oh my goodness. I need my tweezers. Wrong ones. There we go. Sandy gave me these awesome tweezers when I was at her house. told you guys I am all thumbs today don't you hate those days when everything you touch like falls apart or you drop everything I'm touching today I drop and it's making me nuts okay so now Peel off the back.
grab Mr. Clarence. I want to tuck him under these little stamens. Push him on there. Okay. And then the last thing I want to do is I have this um, sticker book. It's called Small Talk, and this is the snarky one from Tim Holtz. And it has a bunch of, like, coffee sayings in it. So I thought that I would use one of these. Um, see if I can find one now that's about coffee. Um, I've probably used all the ones that are about coffee, if we're being honest here. Um, and stick it on here. So... Mm. Let's see. Sometimes I wonder how you put up with me. Well, what the heck? Nothing screws up your Friday, like realizing it's only Tuesday. Ooh, how about from a procrastination standpoint, today has been wildly successful. I like that one, unless I see one about coffee here. But I must have used all the coffee ones. Yep. So we're gonna use the procrastination one. Cause I feel like that fits. And I'm just, I'm sticking it on here, like just kind of haphazard. Sideways, wonky, whatever. Okay, so there's my page. And then I have a little um, date stamp that I like to stamp all of my pages with. So today's the 7th. Um... October 7th, and I grab my archival ink. This one's black, and I stamp. And then I always stamp like somewhere on my mat first to make sure that the stamp's like the right direction um, so that I don't stamp it upside down. And then I just find a nice flat place to stamp the date. And then I get to add it to my art journal page or my art journal thing. Yeah, I might even, here's some Nouveau drops. And usually I do this like as a finishing thing and I'll add. Ooh, I'm afraid that this one's gonna explode. I haven't used this color for a long time. And so it's kind of stiff. So one thing that I don't that I don't care for about Nouveau drops is if you don't use them for a while, then you kind of lost you kind of lose them. Just adds a little bit of extra texture and fun. I know I love Nouveau Drops and I have so many colors of them, but sometimes if you don't use them, you lose them. So there's my fun little Clarence um, art journal page. Let's see if I can get a, a good still shot of it for you. And yeah, we just did some little creating today. Isn't that fun? So I'm hoping to do more of these lives for you guys and do some more um, random creating. Tomorrow, um, I think we're gonna make a Christmas card. So be looking forward to that. And it will be much cleaner than this. I don't know if I can handle a bunch of messy like two days in a row, but you never know. You never know, it might just happen. 
So anyways, thank you guys for joining me and I will, um, I'll upload this video to YouTube later so you can watch it and I will talk to you all later. Toodles.